So now let's go ahead and practice some proofs where we can use this hypotenuse like theorem. So here we're given that wy is congruent to xz, wz is perpendicular to zy, and xy is perpendicular to x or zy. So we're given a lot of information here. And I want to prove that wyz is congruent to triangle xzy. So we see in this picture right here that I have these two triangles overlapped. So something that might help is to go ahead and actually redraw these triangles separate. So I have wzy over here. And then I have xyz. And this kind of just helps to go ahead and um, re-look at this with the two triangles separate so that we can see it clear. And I want to mark all the information that I'm given onto my diagram that I've made here. So first I know that wy is congruent to xz. So I have wy is congruent to xz. I also know that wz is perpendicular to zy. And so we have to remember what that means. Well, when a segment is perpendicular to another segment, that means they intersect at a right angle. So that means that there's a right angle right here. And then xy is perpendicular to zy. That means that there's also a right angle here. So I've drawn all of my given information now. And so based on my given information of them being perpendicular, I can therefore say that triangle or that angle WZY and angle XYZ are right angles. And again, that just came from my definition of perpendicular. So now let's see what all information we have so far. So I checked off first that these are right triangles. So I know I can use my hypotenuse-like theorem, at least try to on this, because they're both right triangles. I'm also given that these two sides are congruent. So I need to look at and see what type of side is this. Is this a hypotenuse or is it the leg? Well, I see that this side is opposite of my right angle. So that means that this is the hypotenuse. So I already have an hypotenuse congruent. Now I just need to find the leg. So I need to figure out, is there some way I can show that WZ is congruent to XY, or that ZY is congruent to ZY? Well, I see, going based on my previous diagram here before I separated them, that ZY is in both triangles. They both share that side. And so that means that's going to be congruent to itself because it's the same side. So I have that zy is congruent to zy by my reflexive property. So I have the hypotenuse, I now have a leg, so now I can say that triangle wyz is congruent to triangle xzy. So just re-looking at everything that I needed to make sure I needed to cover. I first had to cover that these are right triangles by noting that those angles are right angles. And then I had to prove that the hypotenuse is congruent. This one, we have to be given that information. And I had to show that a leg is congruent. And since I have the hypotenuse and leg, I can say that these two triangles are congruent by HL. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, here I'm given that AB is perpendicular to NL, DE is, oh, this is a typo, CD is perpendicular to BC, AB is perpendicular to BC, and AC is perpendicular to BD. And I want to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC. So I have this given information. So first looking at my given information, and I already have these right angles and 
sides marked in the diagram. So I can tell what side AC and BD are. Well, I see that AC is opposite of my right angle, and same thing with BD. So that's my hypotenuse. So I already have the hypotenuse concurrent. And I'm also given that these segments are perpendicular. And so, since they're perpendicular, that means they're forming right angles. And so I can say that triangle or angle ABC and angle BCD are right angles. That's from definition of perpendicular. And again, I need to note that because in order to use the HL theorem, I need to have right triangles. So noting that those are right angles lets me know that these are right triangles. And now I need to find a leg that's congruent. And similar to the last one, this triangle shares a side BC. And since it shares that side BC, I know that it's congruent to itself. And so I have the leg here. And that's by the reflexive property. And so I have that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC by HL because I have two right triangles and the hypotenuse and the leg are congruent. And so this was actually our last theorem for triangle congruence and so there are a total of five different ones that we can use when we're writing proofs to prove that two triangles are congruent. And this is just an overview of what those all were. We learned side, 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 and that's when all three corresponding sides are congruent. So for example, I have something that looks like this. We have side, angle, side, that's when two corresponding sides and the included angle are congruent. So I have two congruent sides, and the angle between them are congruent. I have angle side angle, which is kind of the opposite of that. I have two angles that are congruent, and the included side is also congruent. And then angle, angle side, that's when we have again two angles congruent but then a non-included side congruent. And then the one that we learned about today, the hypotenuse leg, where the hypotenuse is congruent, and then one of the legs.